downstairs is, is having the ability to balance on a step. Because when you can balance on a step, then you can rest. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm backing up here. And uh, be nice and parallel here. It's about six inches away. You don't want to be too close because you'll be a jam. You don't want to be too far away because then the can't do your own. And what you're doing is it's a combination of pulling with this in the back and then rolling here. So you're rolling up with as much power as you're pulling here. So you're really kind of doing this movement which brings a lot of strength. So you really kind of got to turn sideways and I'm pulling to another roll. And then, see I can balance on the step for just a moment, take a little bit of tension off so I can rest the air. So even if it's only half a second, it takes a little tension off. And then the roll. Rolling up. It's critical to be able to balance. And you see, I gotta let go with this railing, especially if you get around this thing right here. If you can't balance, then you won't let go. Right. So. The other thing I'm doing is I'm rocking. I'm rocking forward and throwing it back, especially as I get harder and a little bit more tired. I gotta get more backwards action. Up at the top, I got a foot right arm on that. This is the hardest one because the railing is only a little bit behind. So I really got to knock it. Uh, all right. And lean forward, throwing everything back, trying to get as much as I can to get the momentum going. So that's real important. Going down is the same thing. You're basically figuring out your positioning, wheeling up. So I'm in the wheeling all the way up. I'm all the way up here. I got, I got a good, good grip. I'm on the end and I'm just going to go off. And then that. And then reposition my hand. Just like that. Once again. Yeah, you can hold just like we were talking about. All right, now you're too far away. You're too far away, actually, it looks like to me. You want to be close enough, but you're also a big guy. You look like you're six something and you have long. Stuff. So you don't want to be too close, it's, you know, it's a personal preference, but if you're out like this, you're opening up your arm. Now, you're, you're going to reach way back with your right arm, okay, and this one has to go more in the front, because really what you're doing is you're rolling the wheel up. Good, you're rolling the wheel up, and now let, let's, let, let's, before you do anything, get yourself in a position where you're, you're balanced like, like this. See? Can you do that? Use your balance. Go ahead and get your, get your balance so you're like this. So I don't want to really go in the So I just mean, get a wheelie up? Yeah, get a wheelie and get yourself a little bit on, on, on balance. Because remember, your balance is critical in, in being able to pull this off. So I don't want you to... I'm not holding it. My hands are down here, but it's just down. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Yeah. Remember, you got to let go. Because he's not going to be able to find his balance with, with any kind of pressure on it. You know what I mean? Just like when you're doing wheels, I'm just here. My hands are down here, but I'm not holding right. it. So they don't, they don't prevent you from falling. Okay. So now you're going to run on the step, 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 step. You got you got to backwards. Put that. You got to find your balance this way, not this way. You got to reach over. You got to balance with your opposite hand. Keep in mind you're holding onto the railing, so that will give you your stability. You're like this. So if I have this stability, this is really good. Okay. So remember this. So your your right hand is going to give you your stability. I can't pop a wheelie. I can't get a wheelie out. Okay, you got to, Now you're just going to be a little bit harder. My chair is easier to wheelie than yours. You know? So you really got to pop it forward with your left hand and throw your weight back. Keep in mind, the tip of the chair, it's easy to just go back with your upper body. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Okay, excellent. Okay, all right, good. Good. Now try to back up so that you're actually parallel to the step. So both wheels are backed up against it. Alright. And now I just want you to get comfortable. Figure out this position. Move around a little bit. You gotta learn to you gotta get, learn to get comfortable like this. Alright? So back up, are you backed up all the way? Yeah. Good. Alright, now this hand. Try to pull it back just a little bit more. Okay, excellent. This one is gonna be in the front. Not here. It's gotta be here so you can pull it up. Good. And can you like scoot a little bit more to your sideways? Because then you'll have more just kind of scooting the chair. Just throw all your hips in. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. 
Right now, we're going to try pulling and really think about taking this arm and rolling the wheel up. Rolling it up. Think about rolling that wheel up. Right. Nice. That's the idea. Excellent. Excellent. That's the idea. Perfect. Yep. You don't have two going to try the one. Right, just now hang on for a second and find that balance. This okay? Left Pull them all the way up. Okay, you got to be back against the step. All right. But try to focus on getting that balance. Because remember, you're going to have tension on this arm, right? Your arm's going to burn out. Once you get the balance, you, when you can let go, you can just get a little, your, your arm can relax. So you have to learn to get that getting that balance is, is really critical. It's, it's kind of right. so Okay, you want to try another one? All right, ready? Good, good, excellent, okay. Reposition, okay. Shake out, you guys hold and shake out your right arm a little, just relax. You guys hold and shake out that arm so you can take the tension off, okay? See how you gotta get the tension off your arm? It's gonna burn out, just relax, and okay, good. That's good, the more you can relax that arm, the more you're gonna have energy for more steps. I'm just, I'm just holding up against the step. Right, Eric is more focused on balancing. Marie, you're more the end. So when you feel Cameron, right? Right. When you feel when you feel him pulling, you add to it. Okay? Ready? So go ahead now. No, push down and pull up. Pull? No, pull forward. Roll in the wheel. Think about that wheel. Roll that wheel in uh, up. Roll the wheel up. Think about pulling and rolling the wheel up. Good. Right. Right. Excellent. All right. Why don't you guys wait, go back down? Yep. Right. Wait, take his, take your arm off, shake it off, shake the arm off, relax for a minute. Okay. All right, now let's do the same thing. Going back down is the same thing, so it's a lot easier. All right? Now you're really focusing on the yeah. Focusing on letting the wheel go and guiding yourself down with control. Push. And then stopping, repositioning, and back down. Good, good. All right? Yep. Excellent. Good. The other thing to keep in right. mind is that Sorry. this method, even if you can't do it now, you can have people help you, but instead of them just picking up and carrying and being completely out of control, you can get some control and you can get better and better at it. So it, it becomes a teamwork. Otherwise, there's nothing you can do and you don't have any control of the situation. So if the person back stumbles, you can't do anything. So as long as you're like this, even if you can't get, get it by yourself, you can, you can and you get better, you have one person, start with two people help, and one person, and then no, no people, that's the idea. And then going down, you should be able to do that without help, because that takes a lot of stress. One strength once you get, can get the balance. So again, we're rolling it up. Now, see how important that is? Only stay for a little while, right. but it's long enough to relax. And in order to get around that, you have to do this the same way. Coming back down, and you have enough time. You need to have enough time on this so you don't fall. You don't let go, because otherwise you're like, oh, I'm not waiting for a person. It's messy. Do you see how much I'm rolling up? Mm -hmm. Reaching way down as far as I can. Going down to the same thing. Just put it here and just let it slide. 